President Obama will be visiting all three 9-11 memorials today. Nora O'Donnell is at the White House with more about that. Good morning, Nora. Good morning, Scott. That's right. And the president is going to be spending some time with a lot of those families as he makes the stops today. He has currently just arrived at Ground Zero. Later today, he will head to Shanksville, Pennsylvania, and then the Pentagon. And then tonight, there will be a concert for hope here in Washington at the Kennedy Center. You also hear briefly from the president just once this morning, Scott, where he will speak right after that first moment of silence at 846 um, in observance, of course, when American Airlines Flight 11 struck the North Tower. We're told this morning by the White House that the president is going to read from Psalm 46, which begins, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. And I should note, too, Scott, that the president prepared for today's commemorations by visiting Arlington National Cemetery yesterday, specifically Section 60, where many of the veterans um, from Iraq and Afghanistan are buried. You can see the president now with the First Lady and, of course, President George W. Bush and former First Lady Laura Bush as they walk there at Ground Zero. Uh, George W. Bush will also deliver a reading then. I'm also told, Scott, by White House officials this morning that the president is going to get some updates about the current threat information. Yesterday, he conducted and convened a National Security Council meeting with his top officials. And uh, White House officials note that in the 10 years since 9-11 that they have taken the fight to al-Qaeda in the past two and a half years, more al-Qaeda leaders have been killed, Scott, and of course, most notably, Osama bin Laden. Nora O'Donnell at the White House. Thank you, Nora.